What is up you guys, it's Violet Telly here and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Wonderland and I still can't find Alice now. I hope everyone's feeling great, feeling amazing, feeling vibey. And yeah, pretty much this is going to be going on both channels, Let's Catch a Vibe and on um, Violet's Wonderland. So pretty much you guys can see I've just finished watching the season finale. Yes, the season finale, which was episode 9 of the What If. What if the Watcher broke his oath? <sighs> this episode gave me a lot of joy. Now, pretty much, I don't know whether I'm going to be doing a spoiler review after this one or i'll just put it all in this one depends how i feel during the video but anyway pretty much this gave us exactly what we needed as a season finale a good little close off and uh yeah pretty much again i've got to give it 10 out of 10 for the visuals the pacing was actually quite good actually i don't think i've ever mentioned pacing i mean can cartoons have pacing i don't know but uh yeah this one was a lot longer it was 35 minutes even though it kind of rounded off at the 30 minute mark which ain't bad because usually it comes up to like 20 25 minutes and then we get like four minutes of friggin um credits or we did with the tv shows anyway pretty much this is the watcher going around grabbing all the universe's different types of characters we get winter soldier and peggy carter we get party thor we get killmonger from episode four or no episode six we get the evil Doctor Strange from episode four. We get, um, we actually get an interesting one, which is Gamora that killed Thanos in her reality. Also, in her reality, she is with Tony Stark, which seems to have like some of the kind of tribal paint on his armor, which is from Sakaar, which means Ragnarok did happen, but Tony Stark ended up on Sakaar, which is a bit of a weird one. Not really much of a spoiler, it's in the episode. But anyway, pretty much this episode gave us everything that we needed. We had Easter eggs from the Marvel Zombies. We had Easter eggs from um, pretty much all, all kinds of things that we've already seen in the What If. So it's not really big of a spoiler, really. And I mean, come on, this is Marvel What If. Anything can pop up. So I'm not going to catch everything like Easter egg-wise and stuff. But a season finale... It, it went exactly where I didn't expect it to go. I mean, yeah, obviously they have a battle with Ultron, you know what I mean? But it was completely left field and I did like it. I did, really did like it, I have to say that. In terms of the What If series in whole, I enjoyed it. I really, really did enjoy it. Definitely a step up um, in terms of what Marvel's doing on Disney+. Plus. Really enjoyed it. I have actually heard, bit of a spin-off off topic here, one second. But I have heard that... Um, Marvel's um, Moon Knight TV series has finished filming, so man, I'm excited to see what that's going to be like. But yeah, pretty much. Can't really give you too much in terms of spoilers. Just if you've been watching it so far, please go and watch this episode. We're only at episode 9. I have heard this is the season finale. Don't quote me, it might go to episode 10. But I've heard a lot of TV series is now usually stopping like on episode 9. I don't know why, for some reason, they're just stopping in episode 9. But yeah, we got some really good callbacks into, into the entire What If. Pretty much this is the Watcher that breaks his oath. Um, and yeah, again, can't really tell you much more about spoilers, really. Um, there isn't that many really spoilers in here. I'm trying to think if there's any Easter eggs that I caught. Um, there's a good little Easter egg at the end. Good little Easter egg at the end, I think you guys would enjoy. But um, yeah, pretty much it's like an intergalactic team that the Watcher goes and rounds up to defeat Ultron. And yeah, there's some twists and turns in there. Did I think Did I think it would go the way I went? Nah, it took a complete left turn. I thought they would just fight Ultron, but damn, uh, yo, there was some stuff in this episode, I'm not going to lie. But I don't want to keep this too long, just want to keep it short and sweet as just a review. But pretty much, guys, go out and watch episode 9. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button. If you didn't enjoy the video, don't forget to smash the dislike button. And let me know in the comments down below why you didn't like the video. Subscribe next time if you're new and join Team Wonderland and Let's Catch a Vibe. You already know. But yeah, pretty much, uh, don't forget to switch on the bell notifications to get notified as soon as I upload. But more importantly, don't forget to stay with Vibe and I'll catch you on the next episode. Peace. Cheese.